Hey everyone, this is Alex and I'm recording from Netanya, Israel on today, Wednesday the 26th of March 2014. It's about 2 o'clock here, the sun is out, it's gorgeous, a beautiful day, picture, postcard, perfect weather, and uh, it's certainly a lovely time to be outside, so I'll try to get a bit of the sunshine before it cools down. Um, just letting everyone know that I've decided to extend my stay in Israel. So I was thinking of coming back on the 1st of April, then I pushed it back to the 7th of April, and now it's going to be uh, the end of April or early May, depending on what flight ticket uh, is available for me. My grandmother's coming back from hospital on the 31st of March, so in just a few days from now, and I had hoped that she would be back home sooner, but given this revised return date, I feel that it would be cutting it short if I flew home at the end of the month or at the beginning of April um, without uh, being around to help her adjust to life back home in light of the, uh, the condition she finds herself in. Uh, it's also going to help my grandfather and help my aunt having me around and being able to share in the duties and all the other things that we need to do. So for me, the, the most disappointing thing about this decision, which I believe is most necessary, is that I'm going to miss Blues Before Sunrise in Melbourne. I haven't missed this event uh, since I started dancing blues, so I've gone to every BBS since 2010 or maybe 2009, I think 2010. At any rate, it's the highlight of my dancing calendar, and I know I'm... Uh, giving up a, a wonderful weekend, uh, great music, great dances, wonderful experience. But, you know, I came to Israel with a job to do, and I don't want to leave before I feel that my work is done. As, uh, I don't know, that probably sounds a bit grandiose, but I can't really think of a better way to phrase it. I, the stuff I'm doing here is fairly important, although to me it seems pretty obvious and rudimentary and of course I'd like to do more but there's there's no point uh, going down that road so I'm very sorry that I shan't be around to see everyone at BBS and enjoy dancing with all the lovely Melbournians and all the interstaters and everyone else who's coming to BBS so spare a thought for me when you're enjoying the magnificent music and the atmosphere and uh, for the people I'm studying with, I've got myself set up a bit better now with respect to Wi-Fi, and I've printed out a lot of the materials available on Cloud Deacon. So I will be available a bit more frequently on Facebook, and I've also got Skype for those who want to get in touch with me. Uh, to give you an update on my Safta, she's uh, coming along. She's uh, getting stronger. She's... Uh, getting on her feet and actually walking around more and more, which is great, but she's still much affected by the general complaint of dizziness and uh, nausea, which are effects of the damage to her cerebellum uh, that were caused by the thrombolic stroke that she suffered just, uh, just over a month ago, which is why I'm here. Uh, my grandfather is uh, not the most relaxed person at the best of times, but he's holding up okay. And my aunt has come up from Nativasara, from the south of the country, to stay for an uh, indeterminate period as need be to help out with uh, stuff around the house and just helping to care for Safta. So I'm going to see how things travel for the month of April. Um, it will get significantly more expensive to stay beyond a certain date in May. And uh, my thinking is that I, you know, if things are going well here and, and um, people getting along well, can get along well without me, then I'd rather like to be back in Melbourne by about mid-May. But I don't really know at this stage how long I'm going to be here. And I'm settling down here for a longer haul than I originally expected. Of course, I miss everyone back in Melbourne, mum and dad, and my friends, and especially the blues dancers back in Melbourne. We've got a really amazing scene there, and I think 
in a way, it's a good thing to be away for a little while to appreciate just how good the blues dancing is in Melbourne. We've uh, we've got such a fine community. We've got so many talented DJs. We've got such uh, fantastic follows. So, of course, the leads are very talented, but I don't get to follow very much. But if the if the leads are half as good as the follows, then the leads I would say are world class. And uh, I miss. Uh, certain followers especially, you know who you are, and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting back and, and dancing with you guys again. So that's that from me. I hope everyone is doing well, and everyone is dancing and studying and working and just enjoying life in Melbourne. Uh, obviously the weather is going to get a little colder and crappier in Melbourne as the months proceed, but that's okay, that's just how, the, how these things go. So that's it from me, from Natanya Israel. I hope, I wish you all a wonderful April for those who celebrate Easter. Happy Easter for everyone in the Jewish community. Chag Samer for the upcoming Pesach. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.